this is the, my last my last try. I'm, I, I might not even put one out at all today. I, I'm so pissed off. I had, so I made a video and I was too mean. I was an a-hole. And so I had to stop it and I started being an a-hole again, starting over and I, I don't, whatever. Um, so exhausted, so freaking tired. Like I'm not even gonna eat dinner tonight. I'm just so tired. Like it's just one of those, like I'm just so tired. Uh, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep rolling. I got extra pissed, though, before I turned on the camera. I saw someone dislike the freaking Makeup Night in America with my daughter. Like, if that's you, just unsubscribe to the freaking channel. And that is not just because I'm pissed off. Like, seriously, like, just don't watch it. Like, I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I have people, though, that really don't like me because of things I've said, and they just follow my videos and just dislike them right away. So it's fine. But that one, come on. My goodness, dude. What? This just turned on? I don't Oh no, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Uh yeah, this is gonna suck. This is I'm just this is going to absolutely suck. It's not gonna be encouraging unless I can somehow turn it around on a whim. Uh, but I'm not gonna force it out. It's gotta come out. Uh, I'm not gonna just go rah, rah, rah. It's gotta come from the heart, and this is what's coming from the heart right now. Um yeah, I'm not sleeping good, yada, 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 so I'm tired, but I'm mentally uh, just exhausted. I don't know, I guess I'll just make this a benzo freaking video. I was going to make a topic today. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope, that, that ship sailed. Um, really with the benzo, it's just getting pissed off, frustrated with things. Um, uh, memory, <laughs> yeah, couldn't remember. Memory stuff is just sucks. That that that's that's really, dude. What I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like memory and mind crap. That's that's what it is, dude. And it's it's short term stuff too, or just in the moment or whatever. Like forgetting numbers and whatever. But it's you know it's writing stuff down and just like that computing that kind of stuff. And then uh, also past stuff for me. Like dude, anyone that knows me knows me. Like, I am, like, when it comes to, like, years, like, NFL and stuff, and who was drafted and blah, 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 and stuff, I mean, like, I'm like a savant. Like, I really, 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 really am. That is just, it's crazy, uh, some of the stuff that I have forgotten. Dude, I, I could name from the beginning of, you know, the MVP of the league in order from the beginning. Like, Every year, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, not right now. No way. It's freaking crazy, dude. And people that know me know. I mean, I, I could tell you. I just, it's insane. That's not really the point. That all the NFL stuff I could tell you. But, I mean, I I mean, first quarterback to throw for 4,000 yards. Joe Namath threw for 4,007 yards in 1967. I don't even like the Jets at all. But I know that. That's just an example. Just pulled that one out. I mean, that's what it is. Uh, you know, Jerry Rice had 49 receptions. Or 900. Yeah. There you go. That's insane. I think he had 949 yards and 49 receptions his rookie year, but I'm not 100% sure on that actually anymore. Three touchdowns? Okay, sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, three receiving touchdowns. Uh, okay. Uh, where am I? Oh, yeah, NFL. Or wait, no, no, we're not talking about NFL stuff. But I don't know. You get what I'm saying? I would have never even... For, I, I'm second-guessing myself on that Jerry Rice statistic, seriously, which is crazy. Uh, anyway, sorry. But I'm just using that as an example, dude, because, well, none of you freaking... There's like two people that watch this that even know that about me, so that doesn't matter. But just believe me when I tell you that, okay? Seriously. Um... But, uh, yeah, so that's the, that's the stuff, dude. That, other than that, I don't know. It's, it's okay. It's really, really been okay for me uh, the whole time. It's had its moments, but it's really not that freaking bad, dude, coming off of a benzo. It just, for me, for me, tapering right and, and easing off of it. it yes, it's not a walk in the park. But uh, I know I've said this. I don't mean to always compare, but I just kind of have to because it's just my life. It's been my life for the last two, two plus years now is, I mean, dude, it's not nearly as hard as getting off Suboxone to me. I mean, it's not even, there was parts of the taper that were really terrible, but I was also freaking still doing with Suboxone pause. You know what I mean? Like during some of that taper, when the taper got better, I was longer off Suboxone, even though I was at a lower dose of the benzo. It got easier. You know what I mean? Like 
Uh, but uh, it's to me, it's I mean. I don't want to speak too soon, I guess, but so far it's not even close. <laughs> uh, to me, it sucks in its own way, but uh, I mean, you get tired, you get exhausted, you're mentally just crappy. But yeah, I could get like if you jumped off at a high dose, dude, of a benzo, and I could see how that would be. Uh, you just mess things up, and your your central nervous system goes haywire, and that's a different game. So just know that. But if you taper right, dude, like get off a of freaking benzo. Okay, if you taper right, you can get off of a benzo. It's not, yes, yeah, again, it's not, woohoo, like all fun, but dude, it's really, 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 uh, for me anyway, hasn't been too bad. Um, although I'm not having a good day today, but I'm just, it is what it is, dude. Can't all be winners now, can they? I love that from Bad Santa. When he frick, he like eats, he gets drunk and he eats all the kids' candy out of his advent calendar. And then he actually sees that he did something wrong the next day and uh, tapes it all up and like puts he, uh, puts an aspirin the kid opens up. He's like an aspirin or an Advil or something. And he's like, they can't all be winners now, can they? Yeah, he takes it off and it's because it's taped. It's like, shh, like, <laughs> oh, that's a freaking funny movie, dude. Best alcoholic comedy, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Billy Bob played, I mean, dude, when he wakes up with the alarm clock and he just like starts throwing crap at it and finally breaks it. And then he sitting there on his bed and he grabs a beer at the cigarette button and just looks at it and like, well, I mean, cause he's that hardcore now best alcoholic movie. Sorry. I don't mean to talk about alcoholic movies, but I just love this movie is, uh, to me, leaving Las Vegas, leaving Las Vegas. It's dark, very, very dark. That's probably why I like it a lot. Because, But it's real. But it's real. It's not just like this storybook ending like everything else is and so predictable. I hate, dude, I hate movies that are predictable. My wife, I'm a snob with movies. This is turning into this. I'm a snob with movies, dude. Like if I am like, that's easy to do. I could edit that. Or, I could do this. If they're trying to be, you know, if it's just a good movie, it's just a good movie. I don't care how... You know, well, it's got to be edited good, though. You can't, I don't know, sorry. But uh, if a movie's predictable, I it's boring. It's boring. Why am I going to sit here and watch what I already know is going to happen? Or you know what I mean? Like, I can't even think of a specific, but I, I, I'm pretty good at it, though. I am pretty good. Ask my wife. She knows. But uh, why am I talking about that? Oh, yeah, Leaving Las Vegas. So right there, dude. I'm sure most of us have seen Bad Santa, by the way. Uh but if you haven't seen Leaving Las Vegas, dude, you need to see Nick. Okay, to me, Nicolas Cage is not a good actor. And he's in a lot of crap. He's not in good movies. But you know why, you know why Nicolas Cage got in all those movies and got paid a bunch of money? is because he freaking won an Academy Award in Leaving Las Vegas. In 1995 was that. 1995 was Leaving Las Vegas. And that right there, that is, that's why Nicolas Cage is Nicolas Cage. Uh, not because he was in... Like, Gone in 60 Seconds. Like, yeah, I was okay when I was a kid. I'm a snob. I'm a snob. I don't mean to diss on, like, you know, oh, the Wicker Man. I mean, that is, like, universally made fun of as, like, some of the worst acting ever. The original Wicker Man is obviously amazing. It's great. But they did a remake in Nicolas Cage. It's when they put... You can find it. The Nicolas Cage scene where they put the bees, the ba basket of, like, bees over his head. Dude, you gotta see it. It's, so, it's almost so bad it's good. No, it's so bad it's just not. Like Troll Two is so Troll Two is so bad. It's it's good. Okay, The House. Like these are like the two probably worst movies of all time, and that is again like the the critics would agree, uh, but they're so bad they're good. Like I wouldn't make something like that. I've talked to a guy on YouTube about that because me and him are like 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 that, and I want to make something like that sometime. Uh, just like, uh, you know, it's supposed to be serious, but it's a terrible, yeah, those, well, one of them's a scary movie. So I want to do it in a scary movie way. It's kind of, it's what I'm thinking anyway. I don't, it doesn't have to be, but that's what my thought is. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. This video sucks. This video really sucks. I don't even know what else. I know I was talking about NFL stuff. I know I was talking about movies. Nicholas Cage, <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Uh, I guess it helped me though. God bless all y'all V for victory and salute. Oh, yeah, don't dislike that freaking video, you jerk. That one with my daughter, gosh.